Hi, my name is Sri Lakshmi. I am from Informatica GCS. In this video, we will see how we can trigger an MI task using REST API. So the agenda is first we will see how we can frame a REST API request um, to uh, give the details of the MI task that we wish to trigger followed by a demo. The request to start an MI task is quite simple. We need to pass only two details. The first one is a task ID and the next one is a task name. Um, so the request consists of only these two details. However, before we trigger an MI task, we need to first log in to the org and get an ICA session ID using which we can trigger a request. So first you need to use a login URL which corresponds to your pod. Use the login URL, give, provide your username and password. You log in first. The response will have a server URL and an ICA session ID. These two details are required to trigger uh, the, uh, the request to start an MI task. And the, the minimum details that are required to uh, required in the request are the task ID and the task name. Uh, I'll now show a demo. So this is a MI task that I created uh, for the demo purpose. So this string which we see here after fi task, this string is the task ID. So this is the task ID we need to provide in the REST API request followed by the task name. So these two details are the minimum details that we require. Uh, and before that, as I mentioned already, we need to first log in. So I'll show you how we can log in. So there will be a login URL. It looks like this login URL. Uh, this pod where I am showing uh, the details, this is in NA1 pod, um, which is a US pod. So I am using this DMUS Informatica cloud.com, this URL. And I need to provide my username and password and I need to send, I need to uh, click on send to send the request to get a new ICS session ID. So I got this session ID along with the server URL. So this server URL needs to be given in the start task request. So I am taking the session ID and this is the request uh, URL for me. So this part which you see here is the server URL which I got from the previous login request and the IDS session ID. So ICA session ID value needs to be copied here and the key value, key name is IDS session ID as I have shown here. The other two um, headers which are required is accept. Here accept, it is accepting everything or otherwise you can keep it as application slash JSON and content type whose value is application slash JSON. So mainly three headers, content type, accept and IDA session ID. So once you give the value here, let's go to the body. In the body, you need to give the uh, ID of the task here and the name of the MI task. Okay, now let's run this request. And we see the message that it is submitted. Now, let's see if the task has already started. Yeah, we see that this MI task is triggered. And few files are copied. Um, so this is the simplest method of starting. I mean, there are other ways also with which you can, it's only one way to start the MI task, but you can also use variables while starting. And there is a, uh, there is another KB on the same topic, another support video KB on the same topic in the same playlist, you can refer to the same. Um, the details on the request, the headers and the login will be present in this documentation link. It comes on, it comes under mass ingestion files rest API. Uh, please let us know your feedback through these links. Thank you for watching this video.